today we're gonna be testing viral minecraft hacks that feel and seem illegal <laughs> all right so listen in yesterday's video i promised that if the video broke 20,000 likes in the first 24 hours i would have to be wearing something embarrassing for this video so i have a pair of shorts right here and i'm gonna be wearing them on my head <laughs> so stupid i am now shorts man shark boy is gone it is Short boy. I'm not short, okay? This is apparently a new way to travel in Minecraft using bees. I... What? Okay, so he got a boat, and then he, like, pushed the boat onto the bee, and then fell off. Okay, I'm... Oh, wait, and then you get a bee in a straight line, and then you can continue. <gasps> Yo, that's sick. Wait, can you actually do that? And he does the same thing on this long line, and look, he can literally use a boat and somehow float over bees. <laughs> I don't know how this makes any sense. So here's the issue, right? If you spawn a bee in, they're just gonna be moving everywhere, and I, I can't even spawn a boat on top of them. Oh, wait, what if I do this? And then I spawn a bee in, get in the boat. Oh, Come on, fly away like a pretty dragon you are. Something, something tells me he's stuck. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're on this website right here, Minecraft Mob Generator Spawner. We're gonna name him. That's his name. And we're gonna make sure that they have no AI. All we're gonna do here is go ahead and copy this command. And now I can do this. And look, it's buzz. Nice. <laughs> Yo, no way. Oh, I got him going in a line. I got him going in a line. This is my army of bees. And now I should be able to just hop inside of this boat here and be able to literally boat across the... What? Look, how? Why? This is so weird. Listen, I get it's Minecraft and all, but this has to be illegal in some countries. Using a boat over bees, it just, it, it doesn't seem legal. And, uh, well, I, oh, I'm stuck. Hello? <laughs> This does not seem legal or safe. And, uh, well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are we are voting over bees. So, apparently, this person's going to make a portal out of enchantment tables. I don't even know how this is possible. Okay, so he's placing them in a perfect formation. Almost how you'd place an end portal. Uh, okay. And then you place the last one on the outside, I guess, I think. What? No. Nah. Bro, that's cap. That's cap. No, that's no. There's no way that this is actually legit. We would have known about this forever. Okay. We would have known about this already. There's no, and it actually works. He can go to the end. Okay. All right. Let's bust this one and see if it's legit. Okay. So enchantment tables, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then he allowed this side right here. He waited a second and then boom. Oh, no. nope. Nothing, nothing happened. How did they pull this off exactly? Well, let me go ahead and show you. What they did here is they actually used the slash fill command. They ran this command right here. Fill the coordinates, Minecraft end portal. And would you look at that? Look at what is right below me. Well, I kind of messed it up. So uh, let me fix it. And you have to do this nine times to fill up the whole portal. And voila, would you look at that, everybody? We officially have an enchantment table portal they can't clickbait us all right i'm the captain of clickbait i don't clickbait anymore okay i make curse thumbnails there's a difference all right actually the cool part about the whole fill command is you can actually make a lot of different custom portals out of this one and uh well we could also do this so obviously we we all love amethyst right and i actually saw a video of somebody claiming that you can now officially make an amethyst portal grab flint and steel and magically light it no Nothing happens. Well, <laughs> they tried to clickbait you. We can actually go ahead and use the same fill command right here, and we can make a realistic amethyst portal. And voila, we literally have an amethyst portal. Now you might think, oh, does this take you to the amethyst dimension? No, it doesn't. It takes you to the nether. Just just like that. Now, now, now we're in the nether. Okay, it doesn't doesn't take you to the amethyst portal it's not it's not a real thing unfortunately but minecraft come on this video is literally called i can't believe it not clickbait i am gonna suspect it might be clickbait okay so this person is using a, a portal block a cauldron and i'm pretty sure gonna use dripstone to try and uh you know do the little drip effect where you get the you get water or lava in the cauldron but it's with a portal i don't think this is possible i don't believe so at least okay so he's got a full portal block right there and there's nothing happening inside of the cauldron it's a little bit sus if you ask me guys a little bit weird oh um okay nothing's even happening to be honest this probably yeah this definitely doesn't work huh huh what what no no so how 
did they pull this off in the first place? Well, let me show you guys. So right here, we have a nether portal. And uh, well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put a cauldron right beneath it. And we're gonna also grab some dripstone. Now, they tried to be a little bit cheeky with us because they the video looks so smooth. You would expect it to just to just naturally work. However, here's what they actually did. So you can see there's actually water dripping from the dripstone. Meanwhile, there's literally no water there. There's nothing there to drip to. However, what they did do is this. They went ahead and edited the resource pack. So let's go ahead and go to textures and we need to find the nether portal texture. We have the texture for a nether portal and it looks just like this. Now we can actually go ahead and we're just going to copy this. And this right here is the lava texture. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rename our nether portal texture to lava underscore flow. Then we're going to go ahead and delete this one right here. Delete files. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. And we're going to bring in the nether portal texture right here. There we go. Open Minecraft. Go to resource packs. Do you want to add the following Minecraft pack? Yes, I do. Go ahead and import this. Oh, God. Cheeky. Cheeky. Voila! Look at this. They tried to fool us. It's not going to happen. if We just had to change the resource pack. And would you look at that? There is a freaking portal. But it's actually just lava. Isn't that weird? Hmm. Yeah, a little bit. How to draw in Minecraft. I've always wanted to do it. Wait. You're drawing with a bunch of mobs, bro. What the, what the heck? <laughs> Yo, that's insane. Okay, so that's just done with a command block. That can be easily pulled off. Like, that can't be too bad. Oh my gosh, that's so satisfying. Yo, that's sick. Oh, he's doing it with creepers. That's so cool. All we got to do here is go ahead and give myself a command block. Very simply. So this is how we're going to pull it off. Inside of the command block here, we have to put this following command. Uh, execute at 09 shark boy run summon minecraft villager up air up, 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 up for no gravity, no AI. And then we just want to go ahead and set it to repeat. Just like so. Grab a lever. And the second you flip the lever, all hail will break loose. Three, two, one. Yeet. Oh my gosh. Guys, look, I can draw. I can draw. Ready? Woo! Woo! Yo, this is so weird. Look at this. I can literally just draw. They don't fall to the ground. They have no AI. I can punch them. You know, they'll take damage, but they don't do anything. Go on the ground. It's a mighty thick villager. Oh, look at this. This looks so cool. I'm going to spell shark. Ready? S. H A. Oh god, my PC's breaking. R and K. Yes, it says shark. <laughs> you can do this with literally any mob too. If you want to do a creeper, we can do a creeper. Now we can also change this number to like 10. So it will be a little bit farther away from you instead of being so close. There we go. Three, two, one, yeet. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh god, it ain't working. And boom. Oh, look at this. It's a bunch of creepers now. Yo, this is so cool. You can do this with any mob. We can do... Oh, my God. We can do an ender dragon. We can do an ender dragon. Yo, yo. Minecraft ender dragon. And go. Oh, my God. Yo, look at this. Look at this. This is so sick. Oh, God. Oh, God. My PC is breaking. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my PC is about to blow up. Wow. That was fun. All right, so listen, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually a little bit suspect about this one. I don't think this one will work. So uh, we're going to need to grab some barriers here. Make sure the creeper is contained and not moving around. All right, there we go. So now we can go ahead and spawn a creeper right there. And then all we have to do from here is drop a ton of TNT right here. Apparently like six or seven stacks. I think four should do. That looks pretty good. And then simply just wire this all up. And apparently this is supposed to work. I don't, I, I don't know about this one, Chief. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, wait. Is it? Is it because the barrier? Yeah, it's probably the barriers. It's definitely the barriers. Okay, there we go. Oh, what the heck? We're testing clickbait hacks for a reason. Let me show you how they actually pulled this one off. So first things first, everybody, what these people did is they actually made their very own custom resource pack. And I'm going to show you just exactly how they pulled this off. So right here, we have a blank resource pack and I can go inside of it. I can go to Minecraft. I can go to textures and then I can go to mobs. Then I can go to entity right here, search for creeper and voila. We literally have the designs of the creeper. So now, oh, oh, wait, blur the screen. You can't see that. That's a, that's a super classified thumbnail. One second. All right. So all we're 
we're gonna do from this point is go ahead, click and drag our beautiful creeper right over here. So we got our creeper texture right here. Now, the next part is so easy. It's literally a copy and paste. All we have to do now is literally just grab a photo of TNT and place it everywhere around the creeper. This might be a little bit more difficult than uh, I anticipated. Now, granted, I am not the best resource pack person. I don't make resource packs. I could probably make this more HD so every single pixel is actual TNT. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and fill in all the necessary spots. This is gonna look so freaking weird, bro. Oh my gosh, never, please never ask me to make a resource pack because it will look like this. And what does this look like to you? Yes, I get it, okay? I am an artist. I should probably quit YouTube and become a full-time artist. Now, all we have to do from this point is go ahead and save it. Creeper PNG, there we go. And now very simply, all we're gonna do here is go ahead and replace the creeper texture with the custom one that we have just made. And all we do now is drag and drop it into our resource packs folder, open it up, and do, 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 do everybody. Would you look at... Oh, wait, wait, that's, that's uh, something, something ain't right here, Chief. What's going on? And voila, look, it's just a simple resource pack. And now I showed you how you can make it yourself.